Yo, what's good YouTube man? It's your boy here with another NBA 2K17 video man and as you can see from the title of this video it's gonna be a different kind of video. Um, um I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make thumbnails for your content um for the YouTube videos that you make and um just to make your videos stand stand out um just catch people's eye and um it also helps you save a lot of money man um going out of your way to look for designers to make your content and um yeah man it's just gonna save you money and it's nice to, to learn some new things also man so um if you enjoyed this video um please hit that like button and if you want me to continue the series then let me know down in the comment section below and how I can improve on my mistakes and how I could get better for um future videos to come man but um yeah man so we're gonna be making a thumbnail um in this video we're gonna be making a thumbnail similar to this from my last video that I did man if you didn't see that will, the link will probably be in the description below or come up on screen or something um so we're gonna make something similar to that and this is gonna be the final outcome um of the video that's coming up ahead man um of Kobe Bryant as you can see right there man I just put that together and um yeah and this is just gonna be like you, like you just saw there the images that it's gonna be based off of man so yeah so let's get into the video so let's get into the video so the first thing that you want to do you want to go to file new and you want to copy um these sizes right here and those are the youtube thumbnail sizes so that it gets everything um that you put onto um this um canvas right here um as your um your youtube thumbnail button now so that it doesn't say that it's too small and it doesn't cut anything out so you can pause the video um to get those sizes and then you're just going to click ok and what you want to do as soon as um you get the the flat canvas you're going to want to click the um the unlock layer which was right there um just tap it and then it will open that with the left click and then um you want to drag in your first image which i've got right here which is the colby bryant background so that's a perfect fit but i just want to stretch it out a little bit just to get rid of the white line and then um as this layer is highlighted you want to right click and rasterize this layer so that you can edit it so now you've um, basically got the background image for your thumbnail you want um i'm gonna apply a gradient map on it and what that basically allows me to do is uh to um to put two to two colors um onto the to the background to make it um stand out a little bit more as i've done in this um from the right here when that layer goes you see right there i've used the black and the white and um in this one i'm going to be using the la colors which is um yellow and purple so to access your gradient map you go to image adjustments and then gradient map click on it and already i already did a preset of it um of the la colors as you can see that the darker spots in the image are um the purple and um the brightness of the image is the yellow so um you can easily do that just by clicking on um this um palette right here and then you can easily change uh the colors um right there and boom 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 you have your gradient map and once you are finished you just press ok so right there we have um the base of our thumbnail and i'm just going to add that little starry effect that i put um in this one right here because it just helps the image um stand out a little bit more and this is um that that's also another image that i forgot to put in um the tutorial um, photo that i did before but i just copied it over and i'm just gonna um, make those um be seen right here and what these eyes are they basically allow you to um close to you know they allow you to hide your layer or make the your layer um apparent to see so um you don't get confused when you're editing or whatever so right there i've just um put both of the starry backgrounds in the image and and yeah man so now i create my background and that was pretty easy that was pretty quick and now we're just gonna add in um the man himself kobe bryant so yeah we're just gonna go with this kobe one right here where is it so boom so that right there we've got a picture of the man himself kobe bryant just stretch out the image a little bit just to get it to your liking let it take up a bit of the the majority of the thumbnail but i'm going to put like a little statue of him in the background so that right there we have the man himself colby bryant 
so now I'm just gonna sharpen up um, Colby to make him like more distinctive a little bit by adding um, in Topaz Labs and Topaz Labs um, is um, it's an add-on for, for um, Adobe Photoshop and you can get it by looking on YouTube just to get the whole um, the whole package so you can um, to, to add this effect and it's a really really helpful um, add-on as it can just um, make your images just look nice drastically within just a matter of clicks man so um, right here I'm going to use the Topaz Labs so I'm going to go to where is it filter Topaz Labs and go to Topaz, Topaz Adjust 5 let that load up so here we have Topaz Labs and we're gonna um we're gonna add a preset called psychedelic which is right there and what this uh, basically does it basically adds on that tired sweat effect like they've been um, going for so long and it like really like sharpens sharpens out um the light spots um in the image and it just it looks really really nice like he's been going hard at it for long and just makes the um the image itself that, that you've chose over it stand out really nice and you can easily adjust it with these sliders right here but I like the look of it so I'm just gonna go ahead and press apply um, and then press OK and it should take me back into Photoshop and you can see how Colby has changed drastically from how he was before so that with that being done I'm going to make Colby shine baby so I'm gonna make Colby shine um, the way that I'm going to be doing this is with the blending options and I'm just going to quickly go and get um, a preset that I did earlier on. So these are the blending um, options that I did for Colby Bryant even though it's a bit off I can change that to look in purple because the two, the two yellows colliding I don't really like so um, let me just change that one second. Let's add that. Add that. Good call, he's already bright himself. We're gonna go for like a lighter so it doesn't get like too too gloomy and then close Colby out because it's not gonna look nice. If I do that. Oh, I like that. This can, this can be my own sem it's gonna be one of my own thumbnails anyway but um yeah man i'm just making this right on the spot for you guys and go for darker for that one and go for the drop shadow which is boom i don't think it will be it'll be seen like that no i know stretch it out a bit Red. So we're just going to stretch it out of it, get that to spread a bit more. You see that Kobe's gone a bit darker. No, I don't want to add that on. Probably set that down to about four, maybe three. Yeah. See right there, we've got Kobe highlighted right there. Um, and those are the layers the blending options that I've done there and um, to access the blending options all you just want to do is um, right click um, over the selected image go to blending options and um, you can easily um, edit this image obviously the stroke is the um, the outline around him the inner shadow that's very self-explanatory is basically the colors um, that you put on um, just um, on the inner side of the image right there the inner glow is practically the same thing um, the out the outer glow is the outer glow and the drop shadow is basically um, the blur around it so for instance and you see the difference when I untick it and the difference when I tick it um, so there we go so that's pretty much for me that's Colby edited right there and I think that he looks pretty pretty nice man it's pretty smooth and yeah you can see him there and um, I'm just gonna add in the other Colby image which is this one I think so yeah we've got the other Colby Im image right here and this is basically going to be like the, the background um, image of that image and it's just going to highlight him and it's not going to be as apparent but it's just going to look really really nice and I get it right so what I'm just going to do I'm just going to stretch out the image right there and then I'm going to put that behind that Colby and rasterize this layer 
so I can move that like right there and then we're just gonna do the same thing like we did before just go straight into uh, Topaz Labs adjust five we're gonna go to the the psychedelic preset and I think I might just tone this down a little bit more I don't really like it like that just turn it down add a bit more contrast nah brightness no 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 yeah I think that'll be alright and then you just apply it press ok see that probably lights up a bit more and I want to copy the same layer style as this one so what I'm just going to do just hover over the top one left click it to um, highlight it then right click copy layer style then you're going to left click on that one and then just copy it over and boom we have it on that side as well so both Kobe's and I don't want this one to be um, as bright as this one so I'm going to turn down the opacity um, as you see right there from 100% probably go to about 50 okay maybe not probably 75 maybe not that 68 75 about 75 uh, oh we can use that but it's like he's there yeah we can use 75 I used this one I'm just gonna quickly cut that up so I because I don't want um, this part of the image to be in it and then boom you take that out and then I just want I'm gonna put the highlights I'm just basically gonna do what I did there and put that over on this side, but I'm gonna do it with this image right here. I hope that this um, this tutorial is very um, easy to understand and I hope that I'm explaining everything well. Sorry if I'm going a bit fast, um, because it's the first time doing this, but um, I'll try to progress, man. But um, if you want me to carry on this series, then um, yeah, just hit that like button and leave a comment down below if you get it. And if you want me to explain things better, etc, etc, man. So what I'm just gonna do right here, I'm just gonna copy, um, this layer of Kobe right here by just um, right clicking and then duplicating the layer and I just know that that's going to be the copy of the Kobe and um, I'm going to put it under it and then I'm just going to stretch it out hitting Control T to um, the transform tool to stretch out the image a bit more just to get Kobe to stretch out a bit And I don't want him to overlay that one. Let's move it a bit more. And then just turn down the opacity. And we got duplicate Kobe. Right there. See? We got duplicate Kobe. Um we got um doubt. Right here we've got duplicate Kobe. Um we got another image of Kobe and then we've got the, the flat image of Kobe right there, man. So now we've got our background done and we've got um, our images of Kobe Bryant done. It's now time to add in the text to this, um, to this uh, thumbnail. So what I want to do right here, I'm just going to um, type in, what should I type in man? Uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, Kobe Bryant, um, let me just change the font right here, uh, what should I go for high? Party regular, and I'll probably um, pack this up to about 105. Naturally, you've got 120. That's a bit too much. 115. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, we've got it right here. And I already made the, um, the blending options for, for this man, but to tweak it, what you want to do, right click it and then go to blending options. And then you have all of these styles that, that you can tamper around with and to get to your liking, to edit it. Um, and so you can even match your color scheme. It can be completely wild and different, but um, yeah, man. So I'm just gonna already paste the one that I already did before um, I made this video. So I'm just gonna um, paste the layers, layers that over it and right there is um, the color scheme. It links to the background and it links to Kobe Bryant as those are the colors of the LA Lakers, um, the team that he played for. Um, so that's the base. Um, I've got the Kobe 
done right here and now I just need to add in the my team my team pack up and this types my team uh, let me let that hover a bit more my team pack opening opening put like a affirmation mark over there like I said, I already made the layer styles um, before I made this video, so I'm just going to have to copy the, um, them onto both of this right here. So I'm going to place the layer style again, and then boom, it lights up my team pack opening. I think that's probably a bit too much. <laughs> aye, 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 it's a bit too much, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go, let's go with something a bit more, a bit more basic. Um, what about this one? Just add it black and white let's see how black and white goes I, no, actually I like black and white I like black and white it's, it's pretty nice I can maybe move it a bit down I'll go to the transform tool that is control T control T is the transform tool if you want to stretch your image out move it down up left right rotate it um, that's the transform tool I pretty much like that yeah go to the transform tool um, Put that out and now what do I need? Um I need the logo of the NBA 2K which I'm putting we take from this image right here wherever I put it. This is where is it? There we go. The NBA 2K17 logo stretch the over. What am I gonna do? Yeah, stretch the over transform tool control T. Can I shrink the image a little bit? Rotate it so it's straight. Then I'm just gonna place it over and then place it under the Kobe Bryant. Move it down just a teeny bit. And I have to say, that is pretty much it for the text right now. I'm happy with it. It's pretty nice, pretty smooth. Um, and what could I add to it just to make this a bit better? Mm, I know. Let me just go to the internet really quickly. Uh, go to the internet. Uh, type in LA Lakers uh, logo PNG. I'm just gonna go to the images. See right here the search tools. When you go for it, you look for the for the largest images so that you don't lose uh, the quality of the image. See right there, that's a nice large image. And that right there, you see that the little checkered hash mark styles. Um, that will tell you that it's a PNG image. So it's already cut out for you and it's ready to use. So I'm just gonna save that image right now. Uh, drag that into my Photoshop. Even though it's not letting me. Oh my God, my computer is bugging. Uh, it's on my desktop anyway. Uh, yeah, drag that into your Photoshop. That stretch out. It loads in. Oh, nice and nice Lakers logo right there. Oh, let's that again. Let's make that a bit smaller. Just want to get the ball into the center, but I don't want to lose it. Yeah. Just tweak this a tiny, tiny bit. And that's not going to even be in the whole thing. I'll be happy with that and move that at the bottom of everything. Uh, rasterize the layer. Then I'm just gonna add the layer style of that Colby to the right. Copy that, paste it over there, and then I'm just gonna make the opacity a bit more. I want to make this a bit nah. So yeah, we add that in, and I'm just a little. So now we've added that in. I'm just a little, little sketchy about the space. 
that um, I've got at the bottom so I'm just gonna highlight some of these right here and to highlight multiple you just um, press control then you click down on it and then you stretch it as a whole uh, that's the transform tool and I think we'll be Gucci like the look of that I'm just gonna do one more thing which I'm just gonna add in like a little shadow um, on the inner side of things just the size and choke it a bit and it comes in see right there I didn't like the little black shadow I won't add it too much my computer's really slow that's why it's taking me a long time to to do this but I think I'll be okay and see right here you have a thumbnail <clears throat> oh that actually came out pretty nice so see right here you have a thumbnail of Kobe Bryant man um, sorry that this video took a bit uh, long man my computer was slow and um, yeah man I had to keep stopping the start in this video man but um, if this video is very helpful to you man um, don't hesitate to slam that like button so yeah man here we have the final product of the Kobe Bryant um thumbnail that I just made man straight off the top man and sorry that this video was very very long man my computer was slow and um I just had to do, keep doing a little li little bits of tweaks and that man but um yeah man I just hope that this um tutorial was very helpful to you man and um now you know that you can make um your thumbnails on your own man and please leave me some comments down below man um if this video was helpful to you what I need to improve on and um um, I can bring you um, different type of videos um, around like how to do things Photoshop wise like make your make logos and sh um, stuff like that man just to help you be become better designers in NBA 2k man and I'm learning I'm learning and whatever I learn I'm gonna teach you guys also man so yeah man it's a win-win situation man but um yeah if this video was very helpful to you don't hesitate to smash that like button if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and refer my channel to a friend man and um, let me know on Twitter man um, how your thumbnails go man just um, you can just um, tag me in some of the thumbnails that you got or send me a direct message by following me and I'll follow you back and yeah man um that is pretty much it man so it's been your boy i'm out have a good day peace